Kids Wishing Flower Canvas Painting. The colors that you're going to need, you only need five. You are going to need a blue, the darker the better, white, yellow, that lime green, and if you don't have that lime green, I'll show you how to make it, and then a dark green. You will need your red, It's maybe your brush is not red, a flat brush, a medium round brush and a little the small round you will also need your handy dandy cloth and a cup of water just to have handy i don't like to use my water that often um, but sometimes we need it so let's get started the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to dip your brush into your blue we're just going to draw with it so when you draw we're going to hold it to where it's skinny against the canvas not flat on the canvas so it'll be tall and skinny and you're going to start about top center and you're going to go in a circular motion to about a third of the way down on the on the right hand side okay so that is our first line then you're just going to take your brush fold it in your cloth and pull out that blue you don't need to wash it then fill it up with white so fill it up with white everything inside that blue line is going to be white and i want you to go over the blue line that you did because i want some of this to be a light blue in here not all the way perfectly white We want a little, 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 little bit of color. Don't forget to do your sides, your tops and bottoms. Once you have that filled in, you can see that there's just a slight blue color. Go ahead and fold your cloth over your brush again and pull out that white. Now we're going to do an area of the dark blue. So this middle section, this band through here, is going to be dark blue. So run it right up against that line. And if you want to draw yourself a guideline to kind of where you're going to end the dark blue, you can do that. I'm probably going to end my dark blue like right here. So everything in between this space is going to be this dark blue and I'm just going to kind of paint the canvas the way that it curves I'm not going to go vertical or horizontal I'm going to paint along that curve so go ahead and fill all that in don't forget the edges where that blue is or the top where that dark blue is and you know you could really use if you wanted to make your sky a bright yellow or if you wanted to do a pretty teal blue sky you really could do anything any color of sky that you wanted make it your own is what I always say all right let's get rid of these brush strokes so you're just gonna follow that curve all the way off from the top of the canvas or the side of the canvas all the way off to the edge. And those brush strokes disappear. All right, wipe the blue off. You don't have to wipe it really good. It can still have some blue on it. From this blue line all the way to the bottom, the rest of your canvas is gonna be white and it's gonna mix and we want it to mix because again, we don't want it white, white. We want to have a little bit of that blue in there so that it makes it light blue. And if it's getting really white, if the blue is really coming off of your paintbrush, when you dip it into the white, if you just take 
and get like a tiny bit of blue on the other side. So white is on one side, a little bit of the blue is on the other side. That's gonna give you the light blue that you want. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And again, I'm not painting horizontal or vertical. I'm painting along that curve. All right, once you have this finished, we kind of have to do some blending and some adding of some white through here. So we've got to kind of blend this line a little bit. So you're just gonna take your brush and start at that edge and just keep pulling in. You're gonna start at this edge and you're just gonna keep pulling in to the center. I haven't added any paint to my brush yet. I'm just working with the paint that is on my canvas. All right, I'm gonna wipe off the excess paint that is on my brush and I'm gonna add some white streaks through here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna draw a line and smash it, my favorite thing to do. So draw your line, it's a skinny line, and then if you lay your brush flat on the canvas, just like so, it smashes it. So it makes that line wider. So again, draw a line, it doesn't have to be all the way, it can be little lines. So draw a couple lines and then go back and smash them. So that gets some white through that blue. Now we want to make it darker. We want it to have some darker lines in there too. So we're kind of going to do the same thing. Wipe your brush. We're going to add some dark lines and then we're going to smash them. So dark, dark, dark. Do you see those dark lines in there? You can make it darker if it's not dark enough by adding a little bit of black. But we're not, we don't want it that dark. So we're going to add couple more dark little lines through here. Then we're gonna go back and smash them. And when we smash them, we just lay our brush fat on the canvas and it smashes them. So let me show you that one more time. So kids or adults, if you're doing this, you're going to draw a skinny line, just like so, and you're gonna smash it. You might be able to see it better with the white, so let me show you it with the white. I really want you to get this technique. It's really a neat thing to do. Okay, so skinny line, draw on, lay your brush flat on the canvas, and smash it. Okay, so now you should have some dark and white streaks through this middle section of your blue. And again, if it's too much white, Add some more dark. We do kind of want the center to be darker than anything else. And I'm just gonna go over this line again where the blue meets the white and kind of feather it out. I'm also gonna come up here along this line with some white and just kind of feather this blue into here and the white into the blue. All right, boys and girls and adults, men and women, we have finished our background. You have to wait until this is completely dry before we do our wishing flowers, or you will get light blue wishing flowers. And we want our wishing flowers to be really, really white, fluffy flowers. All right, now that our canvas is pretty dry, um, you are done with your flat brush. You will not need it any more for this pa painting, so go ahead and put that in your water. Next, you're gonna need your little small round brush and a little trick to get your canvas drier or dry quicker is if you use a blow dryer um, or you could just go grab a snack or do some laundry or go outside and play for about 20 minutes and then come back and it'll be nice and dry. So you're gonna use your dark green. I'm just going to get a little paint on that round brush and you're going to make three flower stems. You can put your flower stems anywhere you want to. I'm going to have one kind of curving this way to go back over it. 
these little brushes don't hold a lot of paint so you might have to go over it a couple of times then I'm gonna have a big one coming down I think from like right here and it's gonna kind of curve the opposite way and it's gonna go all the way off your canvas all the way off and we're gonna do one more because when we paint or if you're a gardener you like to garden um, we typically do things in odd numbers so let's do a third one this one is going to kind of start close by this first one whoops i got a little dot can you guys i made a little oops um don't worry about it if you get green elsewhere on the bottom we're gonna cover that up in just a minute let me lift this up all right so I'm gonna do my third one. It's gonna start close by the first one and it is going to not go up quite as high and it's gonna kind of curve that, maybe a little bit more sharper curve. And it's gonna be a little small one. He doesn't have a long stem. All right, from here, I'm gonna make this stem just a smidge longer. You should have three stems. We're gonna go ahead and rinse the green off this brush. We want nice, fluffy, white flowers. Wipe it on your brag. Make sure you have all that green out. Let's start the flowers. The flowers are so super fun and so super easy. So you just take your brush from the starting from the top of those stems and you're just gonna pull it out. Don't go over the stem. If you get a little green, if you touch the green stem, because it's wet, you're gonna get a little green and that's okay. But try really hard not to touch that green stem. Just start right at the top of it. And you're just gonna fan it all the way out. This kind of reminds me of those tuffalo trees in um, the Dr. Seuss book you're gonna run them all the way down next to the stem now I got a little bit of green on or a little bit of white on my green stem that's okay I can always go back and fix that I like my wishing flowers to be really big and fluffy so I'm just gonna keep adding a couple more layers on here I think that's good all right now this next one I'm gonna go to the bigger one and we're gonna do this one and the same concept. Start at the top of that green stem and just pull out. And you're just gonna keep doing this for all three flowers. Super easy peasy. The more you add, the fluffier they look. If you don't like super duper fluffy wishing flowers, don't make them fluffy. It's completely up to you. It's your painting. All right, this last little one. Now this last little one is gonna kinda go over this green stem right here. So you kinda wanna make sure that it's pretty dry and mine is pretty dry. So I'm just gonna start out again at the top of the stem, feathering out. So you always pull from the top of the stem out. And we want him just to be as fluffy as the other two. So I'm gonna keep adding and layering some white paint. It needs to be a little longer down here to make it fluffy. All right, so now that we have our three fluffy wishing flowers, you know how when you blow a wishing flower, you kind of blow the little pieces off. So we're gonna make some of those little pieces. And to do this, you're gonna paint with the end of the plastic, with the end of your brush. 
and you're just going to dip it in your white. You're going to have to dip it often because it doesn't hold a lot of paint. And you're just going to make little dots around the edge. You could probably get three or four dots out of one dip. You see those dots that we're adding? You're going to go around the edge of all three wishing flowers. This is going to take you some time. But just keep dotting. Some are going to be big and some are going to be small and that's totally fine. You want them to kind of cluster around the edge. All right, let's do this one. And it kind of helps if you have like a pool of white, like a puddle. Like if you're white, if you're running out of white, um, on your paint tray or plate, whatever you're using. I'm just using a paper plate. But if you're running out of white, go ahead and drop another little bit on there so that you have a puddle, like a puddle, because it's easier to dip in if your paint's not too thin on your tray. If you actually have like a little puddle. All right, one more around the edge. Have fun, go crazy, make some dots. And in just a minute, we're gonna make it look like the wind is taking some of these little fluffy pieces and blowing them. So now that we have our dots around each flower, I'm going to make like a little swervy thing of dots to where it looks like the wind has caught some of the little wishing flower and is blowing them away. Or maybe there's a kid off the edge of the canvas blowing them. And we're going to kind of do that to this one, too. This one's going to kind of blow up this way. Maybe it cuts in front of this. And then this one, we're going to have it blow up and off the edge of the canvas. And you can curve it. Maybe I'm going to add some more to this one. Make it a little bit longer. There we go. And maybe this one's going to have another little thing just to kind of like the wind's catching this one from both sides and blowing it. All right. Once you have your dots the way that you want them, you are done with this little brush. So wipe off that plastic end and you can stick this one in your water. Last but not least, we're going to use this medium size round brush. And I want you to start with the green um, that you use for your stems. And you're just going to start at the edge of your canvas and you're going to pull up. We're just going to fill in the bottom of this 
with some grass, like our wishing flowers are out in a field somewhere. Now don't get crazy and get your grass too high where it covers up your little flower, the white part of your flower. It can cover up the stem, but you don't want it to cover up. And it doesn't have to be super covered because we are gonna, you see some blue through there, that's totally fine. We're gonna layer a bunch more paint on here. But our first layer is the start green. The same green that you used for your stems. All right, once you have a good layer of that green. No need to rinse your brush, no need to wipe your brush because you're still gonna use the green. So if you do have a lighter shade of green, that's what you're gonna use. If you don't, you're gonna take a little bit of this dark green and a little bit of the yellow and you're gonna mix it together. And this is gonna make that light green. The more yellow you add, the lighter your green is going to be, okay? the brighter and lighter. So the more yellow you add, the lighter it's gonna get. It'll eventually get to this color, but we're just gonna leave it like that. So I'm gonna start with my light green or the light green that you mixed, whichever one, and we're just gonna go back over and add a little bit of light green in here. We don't wanna completely cover the dark green. You still wanna be able to see the dark green. Now, if you get too crazy and you've covered up a lot of the dark green like I kind of think I have, um, I'm going to go back and add. No need to wash your brush or wipe it because you're just dealing with the green. I'm going to add some more dark green in here because I kind of went crazy with the light green. I don't want it all light green. I want to still be able to see some of that dark green. And last but not least, this time you are going to wipe the green off of your brush. Don't rinse it. Just wipe it in your towel and add some yellow. Not a lot, just a little. It's just going to brighten it up. So just a little bit of yellow here and there. All right, now that you are finished with your grass, you are done with this brush, and I lied. We are gonna go back to this little bitty skinny brush. I forgot one last thing. This is kind of important. It kind of makes it look like a wishing flower, um, more so than just like a big cotton ball on a stem. So get your little small brush back out, and you're gonna use that dark green again. And right in the center, right at the top of that stem, you're gonna put a little ball on each one of them. And your white might still be a little wet and that's totally fine. And this is when you can, if you got white on your stem, if you got kind of crazy with your flower petals, um, you can darken up your stem some. So once you have those little circle balls on there, at the bottom of them, you're gonna kind of take it and do four or five little lines. This is kind of like if you look at the base of the flower, if you ever look at the base of a wishing flower or any flower, it kind of has the stem part that kind of holds the petals together. So that's kind of what this is. Now we are completely finished. However, if you wanted to do something really fun, you can add some iridescent glitter. I will show you some of this iridescent glitter. So this is just like um, glitter glue. Um, you can use any kind of glitter paint if you have some. If you don't, don't run out and get any. Just maybe get some the next time you're out. It's not a big deal, but I have a philosophy that glitter makes everything better. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my plate. And it just comes out really chunky and it's really thick. And you're gonna make sure that your little brush is really clean from that green that we just used. And you're just gonna load it up 
with that iridescent glitter. And you're going to go over some areas of your white flower. Now, this is iridescent. So the only way that you're really going to be able to tell that it's there is when you look at it and the light hits it in a certain way. It just adds a little shine, a little sparkle. And again, if you do not have glitter paint, maybe you have silver, you can use silver, that's totally fine. But if you don't have any, don't, no worries. Get some next time mom goes to the grocery store. Walmart has it. It's not a big deal. You can even add some streaks up here in this little moon area. And you really, like I said, you're not going to be able to really tell until the light hits it a certain way. And then you can kind of see it shimmer. Let's see if I can... Do you guys see just the shimmer? Just a little bit. And that's all we want. Happy painting!